Yeah, so I mean, I train every day. I'm, I work out every day, even if I'm not doing jiu-jitsu. For jiu-jitsu class, I probably train two, three times every day. And like we were saying earlier, sometimes I'll be tired and I don't want to train. And I know that probably it's going to be better for my body to recover and just take the day off and not do jiu-jitsu. But just for like the mindset-wise, I'll still go in there and train. Like even if I know it might do a little bit of damage to my body, I just feel like uh, getting that mindset sharpened up and getting uh, that strong um, attitude for competition. So even if I'm tired, I'm still going to train jiu-jitsu. But usually like Sunday, sometimes I'll try to take off Sunday and just do like a run or something. But it's Sunday today and I'm working out doing jiu-jitsu. So like I said, even if I'm tired, sometimes I'll really push it just to, just to get ready for that competition. But if it's just regular training and nothing coming up, I'll just relax a little bit more. If I'm tired, I'll take the day off. I don't want to, but I do it anyway. I got to make a check, cut it like a bayonet. See it straight ahead and keep it crawling, taking baby steps. I made a bet that I'll be playing in the main event. Every day I take a breath and don't know if I made a dent. Those are darker days before it's paying automatic. So this that fucking old school hungry shit before I had it. Went from seeing static to adding chromatic, grabbing, taking massive action. But we still record up in the attic. Didn't change a bit. So how do you incorporate, like, uh, do you incorporate any, like, weight training or um, what else do you do besides just uh, doing jiu-jitsu? Yeah, so before I used to do, I used to do, like, two days of strength and conditioning. I would do, like, circuits, like, weighted pull-ups and kettlebells, a little bit of deadlifts, clean, stuff like that. But just recently, like, for the past six months, I've just been doing jiu-jitsu. Like, I'll do a lot of jiu-jitsu and then I'll, I'll try to stretch after class. And then if I do do, like, any type of exercise besides that, I'll do like um, push-ups, pull-ups, and box jumps. I have like a little routine. Every time I'm done doing jiu-jitsu, I'll do um, like four sets of push-ups, four sets of pull-ups, and then four sets of box jumps. But no, no weights right now, just because I'm trying to get my weight down a little bit lower. So, so what weight class are you gonna be competing at? It's 123 pounds with the gi on, so it's gotta be like 120. I'm like 130 right now. I walk around probably like 34, 35. So it's like a good diet, probably like a good month diet, and then. Day before, I'll probably kill like four pounds of water, four or five pounds, and then put it all back on. You're ready to go. You're ready to go, yeah. Yeah, man. So, hey, so I know we were talking a little bit about um, uh, kind of overtraining or taking days off. So, what? How do you? How do you incorporate taking incorporate taking days off? And like, how often do you take a day off? Honestly, I know a lot of athletes do say that it's like just depends on how your body feels, you know. And honestly, I do feel I just determine how my body feels. If I wake up in the morning. Even if I eat breakfast and I drink water, sometimes I just, I'll just do the warm-up and I can tell I'm just really tired and then that's like sometimes I'll determine like right there that I'm not going to train or sometimes I'll wake up right in the morning and I'll feel, I can just feel it honestly, like sometimes when I get out of breath too quick, I feel like I'm overtraining and then I, I, I'll take a day off or something or sit back, you know, sometimes I'll take two days off if I really feel like my body needs it, but you know, so for the most part I always try to train, even drill or something, I'm trying to get more into that sometimes if I take a whole day off or two days off. And then I come back, I just feel like really tight, stiff. So even if I skip jujitsu, I'll try to stretch or I try to just get like that blood flowing still, you know what I mean? I don't yeah. want to ever just be too stagnant for too long. Yeah, man. So, and I always ask this question. So what, what's your take on uh, drilling and rolling hard? You know what I mean? Yeah, that's good. That's a good question. I, because I, I go back and forth with that. Like honestly, lately I've only been doing a lot of uh, just live rolling. It's basically all my training is just like live rolling. And maybe one day a week I'll try to get in like some good drilling. But uh, I believe in both. I, I think you got to do both. I think uh, live rolling is more important. But I think um, I think a higher level drilling, drilling for like timing, getting the timing of the move down. Like somebody puts a lasso in, and you take the lasso out as soon as they take it out, attacking like the pass right there. So just trying to more so drilling the timing. I feel like a lot of techniques I like to do. I already have the steps down, so it's more like sharpening up your timing, kind of. So that's, that's how I feel about it. Awesome, They're both man. important. Awesome. Hey, man, well, look, good luck out there, and I really appreciate you taking the time just to give me a couple minutes and uh, talk to me a little bit about your training. 
Also, I appreciate you interviewing. Really, really respect it. Thank you. Turn couple of those will breed some confidence. So walk without a crush. You still limping, you ain't much. You ain't getting nothing done. Always fishing for a compliment without lining your ducks. Yeah, say that with a cadence. Like how you think I got it. That's years of fucking patience without no help from a dotted. I just want it where my heart is. But that shit always changing. From go get followers to half a mil, I'm motivated. Whoa, game is so frustrating me. What else can you lay on me? Focus on today only. See where the steps are taking me from baby teeth till I'm 83. Here to get a net worth Couple hundred records got me weathered to the pressure